Hello, I'm Lavender Luna. Since we are talking about our spiritual past, I felt it was time to make a video for it. Sorry it sounds like a script, but it's not easy for me to remember stuff and I can lose my train of thought. My path is Eclectic Wicca. I'm Eclectic Wiccan for two reasons. I am not initiated into a traditional coven and sworn oath. I respect those who are initiated. I draw from many pathions to fit my personal practice from but mostly Norse. I follow the Wiccan read. I feel balance is the key to understand this path. I studied the light and dark past, either neither can exist without the other. I will bind those who try to harm my family, friends, or myself. Yes, the Wiccan read states harm none, but it also states that we should not allow ourselves to be a victim and have harm done to us. Many Wiccans get their feathers ruffled when people talk about binding. I worship Frey and Thor as my divine mother and father. My home and hearth and crown goddess is Caridwen. I've learned many. Um, I've learned my heritage is Scandinavian. Part of it is why I'm so drawn to the Norse deities, and I feel I'm honoring my ancestors. I'm usually is solitary unless it's a Sabbath and I celebrate with my coven or am invited to celebrate with another coven. My coven is only my husband and I. It may or may not grow, but time will tell. The runes say it's not a good idea to let the coven grow for now. I'm still young in my path after studying on and off for 14 years. I've been a practitioner for four years now. I will try to help those who seek me. I will try to help those who ask me for help. This is why I started sharing information on my Lavender and Luna's Cauldron Facebook page. I use the Elder Futhanark runes and pendulums for divination. Tarot cards are not my strong suit. Too many to remember. I've had mm, some interesting readings using the runes and tarot for myself. I'm learning how to use herbs and magic and medicinal use. I've made creams for pain and for hygiene using essential oils. I use crystals and stones to help with depression for other things. I practice some kitchen witchery. I don't use spells very often, but, I do, but when I do, I write my own. I like making candles for certain spells. As I make the candles, I, I add my intent for that spell and who it is for. One of my successful spells was a healing spell for someone. I had, an, I made a blue candle carving her name in runes in the rune for healing. I've had a few experiences of dreams and my intuition to be true for family members. I'm interested in to proving my psychic abilities. I'm an empath and I have learned to shield from people's negativity while using a hematite when I go out in public. I don't know what my spirit guide is, but I'm interesting. Uh, I'm interested in learning about them. I have been told I'm a level one old soul and have a part-time spirit guide. I hope this is, was an, I hope this was enough for anyone to understand of my spiritual path. Don't let anyone tell you your path is wrong. Everyone has their own path for, that fits them personally. Marry me, marry part, and marry me again.